What's up guys, Nathan D8 here, gonna show you a quick clip how to fix your MMS for your 3G, 3GS, iPhone 4. What you're gonna need to do, go into Cydia, open up Cydia, you're gonna search iFile. iFile looks like that, a little blue guy. You can install it, you're gonna get out, uh, it, might say, it might say restart springboard, blah, 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 whatever. Do what it says, then you get out. Okay, I'm just doing this real quick because obviously there's a lot of videos out there how to do MMS, but this is just what I did to make uh, my 3G, 3GS, and my iPhone 4 work. I was having a lot of trouble with my iPhone 4 and I couldn't get it to work for some reason. Uh, it just wasn't working. So, this is what I did. After I got iPhone, you go, go to this website. It's called modmyeye.com. Okay, modmyeye.com. That's going to be the tread. Okay, this tread's gonna have this edited page on here. Okay. That arrow question mark XML, you're gonna highlight from that all the way down to the P list. And how you highlight it, you hold this down. You hold your thumb down. I can do it real quick. And it'll say copy. Okay, and then you just do whatever, drag your drag your whatever all the way. You're gonna highlight from the top up here all the way to the bottom then you're gonna hit copy you can hit copy and then you're gonna get out of that okay then you're gonna go into iFile okay you're gonna go to dash var dash mobile dash library dash preferences then you're gonna scroll down to a thing called com.apple.mms underscore override plist you're gonna click on that you're going to text view it. It's going to open up. I've already pasted what I needed in here. And I'm not going to mess with it. Because I don't want to ruin anything. There's my arrow question mark XML version. And then all the way down to the plist. On the bottom. Uh, this isn't going to be here. It's going to be like maybe from up here. Down to right here. To where my thumb is. And what you're going to do is you're going to. You're going to um, hit edit up here. Go to edit. And then you hold that down. You're going to select all. It'll select all of it. Then you're gonna hit the delete button right there. You're gonna delete it. It's gonna be a clean, clear page. After you do that, you hold it down again. And then you're gonna hit the paste button up there. After you hit the paste button, voila, you're gonna have all everything I have right here. Okay. Then you're gonna hit save. You're gonna hit done. And when you're done, it come, throws you back out. You go home, power down your phone. Okay, you slide the power off, then you turn your, I'm not going to do it, but slide the power off, then you power back on, boom, okay, let's just act like I powered it back on, bam, there we go, um, so it's on, so you go right here and you go into settings, you'll notice that under general network cellular data, this is what I'm going to have, you're going to, you might have to enter it, or I can't remember, it was a while ago I did on my 3GS, um, Anyways, you could put this internet to voicestream.com, WAP voicestream.com. But on this, when you do the uh, edited page, when you paste the stuff in iFile, um, it's going to autofill this stuff in for you. It should. If not, I'll put it in the description. You can put it in yourself. But you want to make sure you get that iFile edited. Uh, for some reason, it, uh, I don't know what it is, but it makes everything work. I was trying to put all this stuff in by hand. Putting these numbers, I tried a bunch of other stuff. I think the bottom of this said like Sony Ericsson or whatever, or blah 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 for this one. I know that's the settings uh, for my iPhone 4, so I'll give you the settings on that. But this is what I did for this. Um, so I have these settings, and I don't really have service right now. I don't know what it is. I've been having only one bar and dropping service all day long. I think they're probably working on some towers around here. Um, so I haven't really been having really good service, so I would try to show you an example of sending the, see like right there I tried sending it and I couldn't do it because I don't have service, but when I walked out of my, like I'm outside, but when I walked out in the middle of the street, there we go, I sent it and then I received it. So I could try real quick to retry the sending this one. Retry it, it's loading on the top, <clears throat> sending it to myself. Looks like it's gonna go. 
Let's see real quick. Anyways, uh, go ahead and uh, rate, subscribe. I'm going to be throwing other little videos on here. Newer things that I learn or tweaks that you can do to your phone. Um, hopefully we can all connect somehow. If you guys have any other settings or any other ways uh, that worked for you that um, you notice that I, it's different from what I'm doing, uh, put that in here. Um, let everybody know. Help everybody out. That's what we're here for. So if... Um, if you can, we're all we're all basically on the same team. We all got T-Mobile. We're trying to use the iPhone until Apple comes out uh, with the iPhone for either T-Mobile or while well, they do have unlocked phones, which I'm gonna probably go get. But until they do, I mean, we're trying to help each other out to make have the perfect iPhone for T-Mobile. Um, so yeah, and and don't be commenting stupid or saying anything dumb. You know, there's there's younger kids that that have iPhones that want to use a T-Mobile, they come and look up and then they see um, a bunch of cussing and, and bad mouthing on here. You know, it's, if you're going to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it anyway. So just don't waste your time. Uh, we're trying to have like a, a friendly, helpful thing right here, or at least I am. So hopefully it'll send. Look at my signal dropped again. I had a couple bars, but anyways, if it doesn't send, then it doesn't send, but it works for me. There's the sent one and there's the received one. Oh well, it's sent. So let's see. Hopefully, I'll get get it. Wait a little bit. So, anyways, um, iPhone four. Those of you who are on the new baseband four ten oh one, we're basically asked out. Don't worry about it. Uh, give the dev team some time. They'll come through. I know they're not gonna just give up and be like, "Oh, we were beat." No, they ain't gonna. They're not gonna lose. They're gonna want to win on everything. That's a guarantee. Um, go ahead and follow Muscle Nerd on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I'm following him. Um, I think what's the other guy's name that does Instalist, and then the Dev Team on Twitter. Follow them. Uh, they update every time they do something new, um, and it's it's good information. Uh, I guess for people who aren't patient, you can go ahead and do the the Jevy from Apple and Berry. Uh, Apple and Berry is a, a repair shop that ended up. They're the only shop right now that has the Jevy. Um, there are a lot of fakes out there on eBay and Amazon. I wouldn't see. Now I'm searching for service, so maybe I won't get it. So we'll call it a night, I guess. But <clears throat> anyways, um, yeah, uh, Apple and Berry. They're the only ones who have the Jevy. The Jevy unlocks. Um, the iPhone 4 it overrides the baseband and and I guess you can kind of it doesn't make it malfunction I'm just trying to give you an idea it pretty much makes it malfunction so that way the iPhone can override it and work um, it doesn't do any damage to your phone um, uh, it's 28 bucks on Apple appleandberry.com and uh, check that out if you don't have patience uh, for it then go and get that Jevy if you can wait a little bit I'm pretty sure the dev team will come out with something and um yeah so go ahead and if you guys like i said if you guys got any other comments or any other um ideas of how to make your phone work or if you're in a different area you, you're not in the u.s and someone else is uh not in the u.s and your settings work for um you know foreign uh companies or what's whatever you want to say um feel free to like i said put it on the video uh the more the helpful it'll be um, so anyways, that's what I use to fix my MMS. Hopefully I'll be using that on my uh, iPhone 4. I'll make another video of what I used on my iPhone 4 before I restored it to the new baseband. And hopefully that'll help you guys out. So, um, I guess like I said, rate, subscribe. I'll have a couple videos. And uh, this video has been brought to you by Carl's Jr. Actually, not really. This is just a cup. I got a Western Bacon and Yeah. Anyways, alright guys, um, I'll catch you guys later.